Hello friends, myself Bakul Valambia. For a couple of months, I was not posting any video on YouTube. But don't worry, now I am all here. I had some health issues and that's why I was not doing that work. So, as a return gift, let me tell you that today we are going to discuss about the, you know, conscious learning further. You might think that uh, so many times in past I have also talked about this particular subject. But let me tell you friends that this is not a small subject, first of all. It's a big subject. And if I want, you know, it cannot be, you know, explained within few hours. It requires a lot of research as well as innovations to provide you the conclusive, you know, uh, idea about the managing of our uh, subjects. Okay. So, let us start. Now, for example, I would like to elaborate today about the, you know, the type of subjective pleasure and with the example I would like to explain you that these are the subjective pleasure and how to differentiate that thing. So let me tell you friends that for example uh, if you want to eat and uh, you take some meal it's okay. I mean if you are hungry and if you are going to eat something it is okay. And if you eat reasonably okay not over stomach then it's okay now this is the requirement of your body but if you are passing through a park and you just spot a you know fast food corner and uh, you remember a certain you know tasteful dishes of that particular uh, stall and you just stop and uh, you know start moving towards the store now in this situation without even knowing that you are hungry or not you just go to the stall and order a dish now this kind of you know food what you consume is not the necessity of your body but it is the part of your you know taste now when things comes to your taste you know and not the hunger now it becomes subjective pleasure for example if i like you know milk product and whenever I see uh, you know something like that in home or uh, somewhere else outside I mean uh, in uh, stores or you know uh, eateries and if I keep on uh, eating such you know milk items then it is a subjective pleasure okay I am not uh, eating to fu fulfill my hunger actually I am eating to you know fulfill my hunger of taste because I like that. Now in this regard what happens is when you are overeating something in particular, okay, now it is going to harm your health and it is going to spoil your health as well. You know, you might end up, you know, getting obesity, okay, and lots of other digestive problems. So this is the subjective reason with example. Okay. The same way if you are using your eyes okay to cross the road or to walk now this is the requirement of your life this is the necessity that when you are walking or moving around you need your eyes to check out what is further there and how to walk safely but if you are using the same eyes to enjoy you know television programs for 8 hours a day or 10 hours a day then it is not the necessity it is the subjective pleasure so this way you will have to start distinguishing between the your necessity okay your living necessity your life's necessity against the subjective pleasure now the same thing is happening to each and every sense whether it is eyes ears skin nose mouth or tongue wherever you see okay anything we consume anything we do just for the pleasure of our you know mind to enjoy now it becomes subjective pleasure now i am not telling you that uh, there should be not any subjective pleasure in our life okay 
but i am telling you that if you are doing it over overtly then it is going to harm you okay sometime even i also enjoy some subjective pleasure the same way you know other people also do no that is not wrong but if you are uh, you know doing it continuously every day again and again and repeating the mistake then you are you and me are going to uh, pay the price of that uh, you know enjoyment in the form of pain discomfort fati you know some sort of you know disorders etc so this way i am elaborating on this kind of things now if you come to know that this is the subjective pleasure and this is my basic necessity then you will able to decide that what should you do and what should you not and once you realize that then you will be able to control your senses okay you will not allow your senses to you know uh, be slave to subjective pleasure and this way you will be able to you know raise your consciousness very easily because as soon as you start controlling your senses you know, your chitta okay will become stable okay it will not get confused confused or frustrated and uh, that's why you will be able to concentrate on the particular subject you are concerned and uh, in the result you are going to learn new things very easily you will not have to memorize plainly about certain new things but you will be able to understand it digest it so that no more you need to memorize it or again and again you know try to you know refresh the memory so this is enough for today otherwise this video will become too long so next time again i will elaborate about this subject so do uh, send me your uh, comments and if you like this then give me a like and also share this video with your friends thank you very much